What's up? Welcome back to the Stilio Apps channel. My name is Ruth and in this video I will show you how to add trust badges into your online store. We're going to go through three different ways that you can do it and we're going to use my test store that I created. You can see it right here. It's very simple. There's nothing here other than the basic theme settings and some products that I uploaded. So we're going to do it all from scratch add the trust badges and in future videos I will add some other elements to the store. So we're gonna start with the first simplest method which is add an app to your store. So let's go to the Shopify app store. Okay we're gonna just search for trust badges apps. As you can see, there's a variety of apps that you can use. I'm going to use the free Trust Badges apps app just because we want to use these simplest things that don't require you to add any extra money to your store unless you absolutely have to. Use a free app for that or maybe edit the code yourself like I'm going to show you later on in this video. So let's add this app to our store. Okay, I cut forward and the app is already installed just to save you guys the time of watching me clicking a few buttons. Um, and this is what the free trust badges app looks like when you've just installed it. You have these trust badges and you can add a badge. Let's say I want to add credit card. You can play around with their location. You can also remove one if it's not something that you want to display on your store. You can also um, edit some of the design elements. Let's say you want to change the color of the badges. I'm going to make them black. I actually like the uh, gray one better, but just for the sake of demonstration. And you can edit the text here, the sizes, the position, play around with it, see what you want. You can also add your own CSS if you want, but we're not going to do it. We're going to just save. And now let's see what our product page looks like. Okay, so as you can see, right below the Add to Cart button, we have the trust badges added from this app. The good thing about this app is that it is very simple, like you saw, required no technical skills. The not so good thing is that you don't have a lot of flexibility. It is always below the Add to Cart button, and there is a limit to the type of badges that you can add by what they have in their store. So take that into account. It is a good option, but there are other more flexible options that would also be a little more complicated. So the second option we can use is actually to add in Shopify's built-in trust badges in the footer. If I look down in my footer right now, there is no trust badges here, nothing. But Shopify allows us to add payment methods here and even trust badges that are not necessarily payment methods that we've enabled in our store. Let's see how we do that. I will go to my store, to my theme, and customize it. Under sections, you need to choose footer. My image um, hides it, but this is this section. And in footer, all you have to do is click this checkbox of show payment icons. As you can see, the only payment option that I have right now in the store is PayPal. So this is the only thing that appears here. I'm gonna save. Let's leave the theme editor. And in the live product page, if I refresh it, you will now see the uh, payment method here. The good thing about putting it in the footer is that it is constantly with you throughout the website, not just in the product page section. And also that it's not weighing down on, with too many elements on the product description section. You do need to think about it if you're adding all sorts of apps and converting widgets and maybe time counters. Don't put too many things on your product description page that take away from it. I mean, it's good to have a full descriptive product page, but it shouldn't be too busy that the customer is kind of wondering what he needs to click now. So we have the PayPal button. How do we also add some more payment methods if we don't really want to add them in the store? Shopify gives us a pretty good solution to that. I'm going to link this article by them down below. But in their help section, you have an article talking about 
how to choose which payment icons to show in your footer. I'm going to skip to the button where you have some code snippets. So what we have to do is go to our online store themes and edit the code. So let's start by doing that. I'm going to go to actions, edit code. Next, you need to find the footer section. So it would be under sections, footer, and we're going to edit this area. Now, very important thing, before you do that in your live store, make sure to copy your theme into a draft theme and only edit the code in the draft theme and then publish it once you've tested and seen that everything is okay. Especially if you're not very familiar with coding. You don't have to be to do that. We're going to go through it step by step now. So we've opened the footer code. Let's see what the next step is. We need to look for this code section and replace it with this. That's all we have to do. Let's copy this and control F here or command F if you're on a Mac, paste it. And here it is. We have this code section and all we have to do is replace it. I'm going to copy this code section and just, oh, sorry, and just paste it here. There we go. We can also, um, Add some indents so it looks okay and let's save now let's see what the product page looks like let's refresh this page and see the footer okay so we've got some new payment methods added here but what you need to notice is that you can play around with what payment methods exactly you have. Let's say I don't want to display PayPal and I want to display something else instead. Let's go back to the Shopify article. And here you have all of the names of payment methods that you can add. All you have to do is add them here. Do you see these brackets? You just have to add them separated by commas. So I'm gonna, let's say, add Apple Pay. Let's go back to our code, find this list, and I want to remove PayPal, as you can see, and switch it up with Apple Pay. I'm going to save again and refresh again. There we go. We have Apple Pay here and not PayPal. It's that easy. It's that simple. And it's something that Shopify lets you do out of the box. So you can trust that it will always be responsive and look good. So it's definitely a method that I would recommend. Now for the last method, let's say that none of these two are a viable option for you. You want your own thing. You want to add a picture of your own to your product page or footer or whatever it is. What you can do is actually go to Google and search for a trust badger's picture. I've already done that and I'm going to use this picture. I'm going to start by saving it. Oh, one important thing to make sure is that the background is clear. You don't want a white background. You want it always to be clear so that if you change the design in your store, it doesn't look weird because the pictures are suddenly in a different background. So transparent is good. Now what we need to do is go back to our code. And in here, I'm going to start by adding, uploading this picture to my store. The way to do that is going to assets, add a new asset, and I can just choose a file. And I have the file right here. I'm going to click it. And as you can see, this is my lovely picture. Um, the blue background is Shopify's background because the picture background, background is transparent. Then we don't see it. I'm going to right click this picture and copy image address. Okay. Now let's go back. Let's decide where we want to put it. Let's say I want to put it right under the product description area. What I need to do is find the product description and paste the image right below it. So let's go back to our code. Now let's go to sections again and find the product template. This is what we need to edit now. 
Inside a product template, we again need to find the product description. Okay, this is our product description right here. One very important principle is to always put things after the closing of an element. So this is a div element. This is where we open it and we close it here with the forward slash. So we will add the picture after closing the div because we don't want to put it anywhere inside an existing element and play around with its layout. What I'm going to do is add an image element. I'm going to give it a source. Sorry, a source. And this source would be the link that we've just copied of the image. And that's it. Let's save it. Refresh the page again. And our picture is here. Now this, it's a little too tight between them, so I'm just going to add a break between the two. Um, as you can see, I've added some space here. But now it looks much better. What you need to do is actually put the image inside of, of a div tag and outside of the div tag, a, add a BR, a break. Um, you don't have to remember that exactly. I'm going to put the code and the links that are relevant inside of a blog post that I'm going to link below. And you can get it all there. You can just copy and paste into your online store. You don't have to memorize it or pause the video now and check it or anything. Just copy and paste it from there. Make sure to change the source here to the URL of your actual image. That's it. We have three different trust badges here. Of course, you can make them different here. You can make different colors. You can make different statements. But this is the most um, flexible option that you have. You can edit something on Photoshop and put it wherever you want on the product page. It is the most technical one as well. But as you saw, it was still very simple. You don't have to be a developer in order to do it. And if you're still unsure, you can probably get someone on Fiverr to do it for you for five bucks. Just take that into account. So now you know how to add trust badges into your online store. Choose whichever method is most comfortable for you. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and what do you want the next video to be about? Also, if you're not members in our amazing Facebook group yet, you should definitely join. I'm going to link that as well down below. Have a great day and good luck. Bye.